Hey everybody, Greg with Drifter Journey, back with another 2023 Chevy Colorado video for you guys. Um, I had gone over some of the issues I had in a previous video, and I wanted to give you an update on where we're at with things. Um, if you want to purchase through any of our links in the description, it does help support the channel, and we appreciate any support you uh, want to give. So, uh, my main issue that I finally took it in for was a coolant leak. So, I've been dripping, um, well, I shouldn't say dripping. I've been smelling coolant for since basically the beginning of the truck. Um, and a lot of the forums were talking about how it, that's normal. And I kept an eye on the reservoir here and things were looking fine. Um, at one point, it did start to go down a little bit. So I topped it up, um, didn't do anything, take too much of it to start. There may, maybe it's losing a little bit. Uh, and then we went down to Mexico and uh, spent about a month down there and noticed the speed at which it was uh, going down increase. So I said, eh, it's time to get it into the shop. So I brought it into the shop over a month ago now I brought it in, they said oh, it should take about a day, uh, and this was the obviously the dealership under warranty, and um, I got a loaner vehicle, and after a week I called to follow up, and they said, oh, you need to bring that loaner vehicle back, and we don't have the parts for you, um, so you need to keep driving your truck with the leak. Uh, they did say there's a crack in the radiator. Let's take a quick second to talk about this video sponsor. It is Epic Water Filters. They are out of Boulder, Colorado. They make Nalgene's with everywhere water filters that you can replace without throwing away the plastic. It does over 550 single-use bottles. They've got countertop water filters. They have in-fridge pitchers to keep it cold. And a new under-sink water filter that does over 5,000 single-use bottles. Use code DRIFTERJOURNEY for 20% off and check out the link for the website below. So I said, aren't you worried about, you know, this getting worse and blowing up or anything and ruining the motor? They assured me it would be fine. So it has been on me to keep the coolant topped up for the last month. Um, and while I had it in there, I brought up all the other issues that everybody's having were with the windshield call, um falling off and the battery dying um just with the over the air updates and my tailgate cubby not staying closed door rattle um a handful of other things so um none of those got fixed at the first uh go and i actually have to bring it back in friday so the day this is getting released uh, to get the new radiator put in and hopefully some of those other parts showed up but when I was talking with uh, Chevy because I did put in a, a uh, Request to Corporate I guess put in called the 800 number for their customer service So they were giving me updates saying every week oh, the parts still not available Still not available still not available um, But yes, so that kept going on finally showed up uh, but they said they didn't see any of those other parts on the order other than the door panel to stop the rattles, which also is not available yet. So uh, I will be taking it in Friday to hopefully get some stuff fixed. And I did just notice when they checked my battery, they uh, ripped off this little flap and uh, tore two of the tabs off. So this doesn't work anymore. So. Pretty nice job by the dealership there. And then the cowl uh, little holders, actually uh, they had ripped them out quite a bit worse. So all in all, um, bringing it in, uh, I think they've made everything a little bit worse so far. So hopefully they can do a radiator without any issues. Um, so yeah, I gotta be honest, Chevy, people spending over $50,000 on these things. 
one, you should have parts to fix for warranty when there's problems, in my opinion, uh, because they are still rolling off the line and selling them. Um, you would think that they might put a little stockpile to fix some of the errors. Um, and two, uh, I wish they would just seem to care a little bit more. So sorry that this is just a, uh, more of a complaint video than anything, but if you are looking at getting one of these trucks, just know it's an amazing truck. Everything's great when it works. Um, and I think I will love it once they get all these hiccups fixed, but you may have to deal with some crap in the meantime. So if you've got any questions, leave them below. I'd like to hear from you. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for future adventures once I can trust to take this in the woods without blowing it up.